let's get on to the actual six game skid that we're on here. Okay. So if you guys, I don't know if you're paying attention to the little crawler going along the bottom of the screen. I listed out the last five games, even though it's a six game skid, and mm-hmm. the next five schedule wise, just to kind of give you guys an idea. Uh, those losses, although now it's showing me the future games and I don't have the list right in front of me for the last <laughs> five just yet. But those games include losses, of course, Toronto, Utah, mm-hmm. Lakers, yep. Knicks. Yep. Uh, well, we, before that, you had Atlanta before that, but that was technically Jazz. six ago. Jazz, did you include that? I said Utah. Oh, okay. Um, my bad. Like, there, there's another one that's for some reason slipping my mind at the moment. We've blocked out all the losses from <laughs> Utah. So. <laughs> haven't, haven't blocked it out. It's just I've slept since then. Oh, here <laughs> it comes around. So Raptors, Jazz, Oh, Spurs, Spurs, overtime. Oh, you know, you said Raptors, and I was like, that's when DeRozan put up 30-something. Oh, no, uh, no, 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 I see what happened he there. Plays for the, he plays so, for the So what do you think the main issues are that's plaguing this team early on? Because we see the talent, we see the steps forward they're taking, but then there are steps backward that are ill-advised as well. Here's, here's number one, defense. Yes. Defense, defense, defense. Number two, and the reason why defense is number one and this is number two Mm -hmm. is because we recovered from number two multiple times. Number two is our terrible starts. Um, Just like the last couple of years, we tend to start either the first game or the the second half just straight terrible. But they do find ways to come back. So, But our our defense is – I've seen multiple times when we leave shooters wide open, multiple times where – uh, guys are going to the rim unchallenged. Yep. Uh, it's quite frustrating, especially when you when you invest over twenty million dollars on a dude to stop and that a from rim happening. protector, right? And it continues to happen. So, um, not cool, man. Just get to stop. Yeah, and it, it's it's absolutely plaguing this team and slowing them down. Um, and then the other side of it as well is turnovers. Uh, uh, during this skid, they're averaging about twenty turnovers a game. <laughs> Uh, during during the last three, I think it's actually like twenty three. Uh, so it's it's really really bad in that regard. Don't even acknowledge it's really <laughs> bad in that regard. So they're going to have to figure out something to uh, turn that around. And yes, there is coaching for that. I there we go mods. Um, <laughs> they're what they're going to have to do is they're going to have to figure out a way to get this young, and it's not a young team, it's one of the oldest teams in the league, but its best players are all 26 yeah, or younger. Yeah, you got a young core. Yeah, so you have Luka, 19, and Dennis at 20. Yep. Harrison Barnes has been back the last five games. He's like 26. So he, he still hasn't gotten a win yet this year. Yep. Yeah, he is 26. Yep. But yes, uh, so they're, they're struggling in that regard, and they've got to figure it out. But as we get into the storyline here in just a moment, that's the next thing that's kind of the bizarre plaguing issue for this team is it's very much related to very much related to um just whatever's happening in the locker room like there's something odd about how some of the veterans are reacting and kind of treating Luka Doncic and yeah which is kind of weird because the Mavericks are not really um we don't really have a bunch of drama going on in the past years like we're kind of seeing right now um, well, supposedly in the background, nothing's really confirmed, but, um, uh, I mean, we're having stuff like potentially, mm-hmm. allegedly. Well, before, before we get into no. the freeze out, oh, you wow. said, uh, you, you were talking about, you wanted to say something on like the Laker game or the Spurs game. Well, no, no, no. I, I mean, I was just seeing like, if there was anything that, left on those subjects, you wanted yeah. to touch on okay. Luca goes for 31 in the loss at San Antonio. Yeah. And, um, and. Yeah. I'll, I'll, Here, here's I'll the thing anymore. we're you know one of the things that we had a trouble troubles with with um at the end of the games is closing out close games and you know i'm a i'm a realist we have a young course so we're gonna see a lot of that i'm not really too concerned about it we might we're gonna lose a lot of those games um i want to i want to see growth that's the, my, the number one thing i want to see this year is growth yes and it pisses me off when we have guys who are nine years in the league mm-hmm. and they're making dumb mistakes. You're talking about Wes at the end I'm of the Laker game. I'm talking about Wes at the end of the Laker game, yeah. of course. And it, and it wasn't an intentional foul. He it, says he just got over-aggressive. Which, it's LeBron. Yeah. Let me, it's LeBron James. You, you try and make LeBron beat you with the three there. And LeBron's great enough. He might 
very well do it, but yes. why are you going to send them to the line exactly. for nothing? Exactly. Like, I mean, here, here's the deal. To um, your point, you invested $23 million in a rim-protecting center. Uh-huh. If he gets past the first guy, you're supposed to then be able to <laughs> lean on that center. <laughs> like, that's why you paid him. Exactly. So, uh, I mean, walk through that, the last minute. And I was actually talking with the dude um, this game. And take away the context. Uh, I think this is a, that's a bigger blunder than J.R. Smith's. Um, last but not, take away, not, take away yes. the context. The context is everything. But yeah. yes, because um, Wesley Matthews, you blew it. You did. Oh, <laughs> that, that's exactly what I was saying. I'm like, dude, what? You freaking blew it. Like, what are you doing? Like, we're down. How many we're down two? by two. Yeah. Uh, then Luca ties it. Then Luca ties 7. it. Seven point six seconds. Clutch. Left. Clutch, Clutch yes. Luca, yeah. And that game was largely uneventful for Luca, and he got going late. He's been great in the fourth quarter this year. Yeah, and that's one of the things that. in this Knicks game that was so frustrating. Mm-hmm. He was four for four from the field uh, for 10 points. Four mm-hmm. for four for 10 points, and yet he got uh, only four shots, but you got 10 points in the fourth quarter. You're fighting and clawing. What What's standing out to me and what i'm seeing so this is the big topic of this stream this is the title this is all of that Mm -hmm. spoilers Mm -hmm. uh there there appears to be some kind of weird dynamic in regarding how the veterans are reacting toward luca right now and for me what it kind of and this is just a theory i have but Mm -hmm. it reminds me of the game at san antonio yeah because in that game luca gets like four shots in the first half and in the third quarter early third quarter you'll see him hit a three and this went a little bit viral. You, you, it's more lip reading, so you're assuming you know what you're yeah. saying. But the caption that ran with it that everyone was saying that was what he was saying mm-hmm. was give me the effing ball yep. after he hit the three. Now, he goes off in that uh, third quarter and ends up with 31 for the game. So he had himself a day, no doubt. But I wonder if that rubbed the rest of the team, the, wrong the way. veterans, yeah, specifically or, the mm-hmm. wrong way. Because you got a guy, 19 years old, nine games into his career, walked in and from day one was your best player as we've come to find. Yep. And he's sitting there telling you, give me the effing ball. Do you think that's the kind of thing that could rub like a Wes Matthews or a DeAndre Jordan the wrong way? Those guys are hyper competitive and very prideful. That's true. Um, I'm not sure if it will probably... That in particular, I don't think it will it will rub um, DeAndre the wrong way because DeAndre is not the type of person to be taking shots. Right. But I think it will rub Wes the wrong way because Wes, I don't know what's going on in his head, but he's my he. I think he thinks he's in a leadership role. DeAndre is like okay, he's this is his first first year on the team. He's only yeah. played how many of the games he's played since then. And here's Luca's stat line above my head so far for the season. If you guys want just oh, extra yeah. information. He's 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 been balling out. Nineteen point four points a game, four point was that six assists, it looks like. Yeah. Um six point six, I guess I can move it around to somewhere where the lighting's better, but I didn't want to block your face. Yeah, yeah, don't block my face. Six point six total rebounds a game. Yeah. Is that what that is? Yeah. Yeah. Shooting forty six percent. Um, from the field goal, 39.3. That is phenomenal. That is good. 39.3. And a lot of his shots are coming off of, you know, dribbling, step, step backs, backs and yep. stuff like that. The one thing that's concerning to me in this stat line is sub 70% at the stripe. And he's missed some big ones, too. Yes. Uh, he got bailed out in the Minnesota game because big, Dennis went off after he yeah. split one and one. That's a, that's a kind of a concern for pretty much everyone on the team, other mm-hmm. than, surprisingly, uh, DeAndre. Yeah, DeAndre Jordan. Uh, he's um, shooting 82 right now. I can. Last time I checked, which keep was this like yesterday. I can keep this good gold going for you guys here. Yeah. Now here is Dennis's stat line, and I can position that better. Which is actually not bad, except for his free throw. His three points. I thought it would be worse. So uh, yeah, we. I mean, we don't have to. Again, this is information for you guys. We're not going to read it off. Yeah. But you guys can. You guys can see there. Uh, I also like that Luca is getting minutes. You know, Dennis oh, last yeah. year got less than thirty minutes a game, Luca's and getting Luca's getting thirty-five yeah. or so minutes a game. Dennis is still up to thirty, so Dennis is roughly the same minutes he was last year, yeah. which is interesting to well, me. Well, I mean, he has JJ, and JJ's have True. really counter on by Rick. Rick really trusts JJ. Uh, You're tripping out my dog. <laughs> my dog named JJ. Oh my bad. <laughs> I was like, what? Best best Halloween costume I ever got him was slapping a Berea jersey on him. There you go. Just to make the pun, oh, and yeah. it still took people some some figuring out, which was funny to me. Yeah. But um, what were we talking about? You said JJ. You, you yeah, were, we're, we're talking, talking about, about minutes. Dennis's minutes. Yeah. Um, Harrison Barnes in five games. Here's his info. 
Because we give you everything there that we can. Go. Yeah, so I got the rest of the well, the other we're two. Getting, we're guess. getting better, dude. Throwing up stats, dude. Stuff I, like that. bro, the audacity <laughs> of Dennis Smith. <laughs> that's but, that's what we're bringing to the table here. Yeah, 